Hi there, and welcome to our Decadata CSP Cloud Portal videos. I'm going to go through the process of creating an Office 365 or Microsoft Online Services tenant from within our systems. But first things first, before heading to our portal, check with your customer to make sure they don't already have an Online Services tenant. If they do, jump over to our video guide called Configuring an Existing Tenant. Assuming your customer doesn't, jump into decadata.co.nz. And in order to complete these steps, you will require a Decadata logon as well as a purchasing rights from your administrator. If you need this sorted for you, give our team a call on 0800 DD Sales. Once logged in, locate the subscription that your customer is after. You can search for the subscription by name, for example, Business Premium, or if you have the SKU ready, simply copy and paste that into the search field. We'll use Business Essentials for this example. Now it's also worth noting you can only add one subscription at a time, but you can add additional ones later. Click through on your license, and this bit is important for now, make sure you select the quantity before continuing. Enter the amount, which is 13 for this customer, and click buy. You'll see the page reload below. Now you have three options from here, select from an existing customer list, create a new end user, or associate for those customers that already have an online services tenant. We're going to continue creating a tenant, so first up you'll need a unique .onmicrosoft.com domain name. Burt's Burgers have asked for this tenant for the new business and we've used the prefix they've asked for, however it popped up and told us that it's already taken. If you receive this error, it's best to check again that the customer definitely isn't using an existing Office 365 or online services tenant. We've heard back and the customer's confirmed that they're not, so we'll simply append the name with the NZ as we suggested, and the tool has returned that the tenant prefix was available. The default username is admin. This is the initial global administrator used to continue setting up the tenant after the creation through our tools. You'll also need to create a password with at least one upper and lowercase character, a number and also a special character. Note that this password will need to change the first time you log in to your new tenant. Continue filling in the user details and once you've checked them, select create a new end user. A notification will tell you that it is creating the end user with Microsoft and then a green box to confirm that the end user was created successfully. If applicable to your chosen subscription, you'll also be taken to the add-on page where you should select the add checkbox to add to your subscription. You can do this later too if it's required. On the next page, you'll need to fill in both your order ID or your order reference, which will reference on all of our invoices, as well as your Microsoft MPN ID. Click create the subscription and you'll receive a confirmation pop-up and you'll be sent through to your customer management page. You'll notice the subscriptions are sitting in a pending creation stage with an information icon and italics for the status. Within a couple of minutes, simply refreshing your website will show you the subscriptions and the add-ons have now gone to an active status. From this page, you'll also be able to manage existing subscriptions, change seat counts, and add new subscriptions as well as suspending ones that are no longer required. For more assistance, see our other videos in this series. It's worth noting your customer's billing date will be set at one month from the day that this process was completed. For more information on the billing process overall, please check out the How Invoicing Works video. If you need more assistance at all, reach out to 0800 DD Sales. Otherwise, thanks for creating your new customer. You can now head over to the Office 365 portal to start creating user logins and configuring their domain. Thank you.